Hi, John Wanawa here in Otoho, Auckland, New Zealand. Today I have put some documents on uh, Facebook and just about to send them to John Key. It's 15 pages of a notice and proclamation over these lands in New Zealand. And this is for you, John Key. I'm uh, writing you a letter to uh, warn you of the consequences of passing your TPP Act and forcing it through Parliament now in the wake of the presidential elections in America that you're hoping that everything is going to work out that Hillary Clinton and Obama is going to win. It doesn't appear to be so because it's laced with fraud and corruption there and here. And so I'm reporting all what is happening to the British High Commission here in Wellington. I've already done so and written them a letter, the same format with King Seal letterhead. That is Admiralty of this flag, of jurisdiction and constitution supporting our documents and the seal here of King William IV and his crown on the top and his Admiralty ship and horse here and the eight point star of the New World Order, St. Patrick's Order. Those are all our authority over these lands and our documents are showing a proof of claim title to the first legitimate legal crown title of King William IV with one Captain James Reedy Clendon. Okay? And Kororareka Russell. We're going on that one title under this flag of jurisdiction on that 20, 20th of March 1834 is the legal substance inside the title that I'm holding here with the Manukau Land Company in Scotland, Glasgow, Britain, UK. So I'm going to read you the email so that everybody's listening to what I say on the videos in the world as witness. And it cannot go to court because everybody knows what I say. And that's taken uh, as a precedent from my court case when I got arrested in the Auckland uh, here, in, the, in my house here, and appeared in the Auckland District Court. The barrister I had said to the judge, oh, John Wanwell wants to ask a question. The judge's reply was, there's no need, it's all on YouTube. So that's why Mr. John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand, all of my statements are clear indication of affidavit and sworn statement in front of God Almighty. So help me God, everything I say is true and correct. It's for you to deny. So I'm here acting as sheriff inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court with the chief stair of the Whakameninga of this flag 1834, not the 1835, the 1834 straight to Britain. The 1835, the 28th of October, is for where it went missing inside your 1840 treaty on Titi Marae. And that's why we went in to the Waitangi Marae on the 15th of April 2016 to force these laws through. This flag made legal there, straight to Britain, made the pound note levy debtor instrument legal, that's our own Maui, King William, fourth pound note, here, not Britain, here. It's nothing to do with the Rothschilds Bank of England pound note. Nothing to do with that. We are valuing ours on the fraud that we're naming people 
Your name's in there, John Key. It's online. It's in the High Court of Admiralty in London. What we have to do is action this flag and put it up and alert Westminster. That's our partner. That's our legal partner. They're obligated to this flag of Admiralty. The highest court in the world is inside that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Our authority is there on that ship. That ship and the ship at Kororareka, that's our title to contract in the private of Admiralty Court Martial Law and Admiralty Financial Martial Law. Now that's what we're putting on you, John Key and Obama. Clinton, the Pope, the Queen, in fact, the Rothschilds, everyone is subjected to this King's flag with the eight point star here and the eight point stars here, the four corners of the earth, the blue Admiralty of the sea, and the sky blue, <coughs> and our ruling authority on these lands and every other land where the Queen has corrupted the King's Bench court titles. Okay, so that's what I'm making this clear to the Tomata and the Whakameninga of two different separate entities when it comes to Iwi Maori, that's your strong key, they're going to get the bill, that's your Crown Corporation Queen business. Vice Admiral, this is straight Admiral King. Queen yours, King here, to us chiefs, with the right surname, the original name, surname, Manuko, Parapara, Hika, Hongi Hika, Te Rawaikato Wharaherehere, Manuko, and John Kahaki Wānoa, that's me. Okay, those are original native names that I'm talking about to this flag to Britain. They'll appear there on record. There's no need to put any other bodgy surnames that sound Maori but are not real. It's no use saying it comes from Hawaii in the sea because that's not going to stack up. It's going to be male line only. Salic law in Britain and the King William forbids under this flag 1838 and 1837 forbids woman to succeed to the throne. Now this is a contract no one can change. No one's able to change. It's never been changed. John Key. It's institute law fixed, extant forevermore inside Westminster Parliament. It's only us, the native, the real native surname that can change it. Okay. So I've alerted the uh, Whakameninga in Hokianga and down in the Matatua uh, uh, chiefs. And I'm putting this, stringing this together with Mohi Manukau's history title to the Manukau Land Company in Glasgow, Scotland, Britain, UK. Okay, you've got yours from Australia, New South Wales and your convicts in Parliament in Wellington. Like Gareth Morgan says, put a bomb right underneath the beehive and blow it up. He's right. He's right. It's full of filth and corruption, John Key, and your Panama Papers. We're going to investigate. I can investigate with this badge. You've been ignoring me. The police have ignored me. They lost their case, John Key. They lost their case. No one's going to win against this authority, this flag, and that Mariah up there. That we're going to wait for you on Waitangi Day, 6th of February, inside that court. You have to bring your title with your name, you standing or anybody else who wants to stand there with their surname, it's got to be correct in front of me and my title with the Moai statue to my Wanoa people in East Island, Rapa Nui to Mokonui on my planned box at the East Coast. Okay, and the other chiefs that are going to be standing inside that marae and um, Jim Wickleton. Okay, he put the flag upside down, Chunky, he put this flag upside down on Kororareka, he put it upside down on 
Waitangi Marae on Waitangi Day this year, 6th of February, 2016. He put it upside down. He's going to put it up the right way up the top. And when it goes up there, it stays up there. Okay, I'm just warning you so that you've got plenty of time to think about what I'm saying and listen to what I'm saying with this proclamation that swears the land belongs to the chief and not the king or the queen. That's why I'm making these videos as our substance evidence in any court of law in the world. You can't go higher than the admiralty law. And so we're watching the elections in the United States to see how rampant the fraud is and the FBI is the same as the CIA committing fraud there as the CID here. They are no different. The police are corrupted here and I've caught them out. I've caught them out, John Key, and I've caught you out. Okay? I just send a warning to you. I'm acting as surrogate King William IV to speak for him. And we are nominating King Ernest Augustus V. He's a bloodline, direct bloodline DNA to King William IV and King William III, William the Conqueror, King Solomon's Mines. Okay, straight through in this line. And the Moai statue is our memorial standing in Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London, standing in New York, Washington DC, Dunedin here with the hat on his head is the crown, John E. That's the earth crown of God's law, L-O-R-E, that you've stolen. Your queens have stolen from this garden. I'm holding that against you of stealing our land, our resources, our natural resources, and our memorials, okay, and our birth certificates, okay, and anything anyone wishes to say that's stolen, it goes against the pound note, okay, our Moai, pound note, King Tapio, pound note, to Te Rawaikato Whareherehere, in the Waikato region of Maungatauteri Mountain Pa, okay, that man, chief, went to England, 1820, 1834, and he's learned how to do native titles, speak English, and do land transactions. That's where that came from. Okay? And it went right around the world through this flag of jurisdiction from King William the Fourth on that day, 20th of March, 1834, when the first British Consulate of America and Magistrate Proclaim the land belongs to the King of England. Okay? Now I'm proclaiming the land belongs to the chief here, at least, and not the King of England or the Queen. But we're still in a private contract with the King of England, King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch on the bloodlines, straight to King George III and his sons, King William IV, King Ernest Augustus I, and King George the fourth, those three brothers and their father and America and here and Britain. Okay? That's the end of it. And King William the Third, Saint Patrick's Order, title, Dublin, into Westminster. King Ernest Augustus V and me, the sheriff, after we nominated him, put the flag I'm going, put the flag up next to his King William's Memorial in Devon, Port Plymouth. We go to Westminster, put the flag up, and then King Ernest Augustus is the King of England, the King of Britain, UK, and over, and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the world, for that matter. Okay? He's not the King of England, he's the King of Britain, UK, currently. Okay? He's been that title all along. Hasn't used it. We're going to use it with his flag. If you're watching this, King Ernest Augustus V, take note. The chiefs here are making this statement for them that we're petitioning you into the throne to take over the void that the Queen has left and jumped overboard, abandoned ship, so to speak, and gone to the EU Parliament in conflict with our contract with you and your ancestor, King William IV's 
flag that he gave us. Okay? It's legal now. It's legal to use on anybody in a state of emergency. We're putting a state of emergency out of this country. Now, right now, while they're going through the elections, before they get a new president, if they do, get a new president of the United States, and before John Key passed his act of the TPPA through, ran it through Parliament in Wellington on third reading this week, too late. I'm making this statement to you that this notice got to you before that happened and put you on notice to sever it. You're not to use it here. It's forbidden. It's forbidden under Salic law of King William IV to use any documents or any contracts under Vice Admiral, lower than the real Admiral, of this seal of the King of Britain, UK, and King of England and his successors. King Ernest Augustus V and his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, 38 years old, and his father, 68 years old. They're still alive, ready to take the throne any state now. That's our job, to put them in and seize all the land the Queen owns, the assets, the businesses, the lot. Seize all the property assets of the Pope and Federal State Government of America, the IMF, the United Nations, NATO, all the money that's come out of the Admiralty of King William IV, the British military is obligated under orders from us, the partner of the King of England, the King of Britain, to go and seize it. Okay? A writ of execution order will come out of this flag and myself and the chiefs here in Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Native Court, Waitangi Bay of Islands, New Zealand. Okay? So that's that. John Key, this is for you. Remember, you haven't passed your X yet. I'm passing this through to you now. Cease and desist and forbidden from making contracts over our contract to the King of England and the British government and military. Take note, I've written to the Secretary of Defence, Michael Fallon, to warn him of what's about to happen with the back door queen going around the back door. Instead of talking here to her Maori iwi chiefs, she's going around through America and back here and trying to take us out that way. No, stop, stop right there. Okay. Now here's the email I'm sending to you right now. It reads Nātuwe Wā Ote Limited, OSMB 16 Park Avenue, Oruhu 1062, Auckland South. To New Zealand Government, Honourable PM Prime Minister John Key, Wellington, 9th of November today, 2016. On the dot at 3:25 p.m. Okay, take note on the record. Dear John Key, I send you this official notice on behalf of the Chief Kingi Taurua and the Whakameninga Chiefs in Waitangi concerning important matters for you to take notice of. Please find one PDF file of 15 pages that is pub publicly notified of the upcoming events that affects, affects our country by the outcomes of the US presidential elections. We would like to know why no British Navy warship is joining the 22 country navies here for your 75 year celebrations since it was they who allowed the King of England to settle British immigrants here in the first place in 1834 legally. TPPA and US Federal State Government Navy Admiralty Law, Court Martial Law and Admiralty Financial Martial Law is a risk enforcing these laws on our land without the native court chief's Whakameninga Admiralty flag jurisdiction, while it is in a private contract with the British Navy and military British government, our King William IV Commercial Trading Bank Authority Partners in Business. You are hereby served this notice. To respond to this notice from the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court, legal on the 15th of April 2016, 
police in attendance and Waitangi National Trust with Chief Kini Tauroa and other Taumata Kaumatoa Kaumatoa witness event. These notices are sent to the British High Commission in Wellington, to the US Federal State Secretary of Defence and British Secretary of Defence as well as, as it is on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook Proclamation Public Notify. I note that you are forcing your TPPA contract agreements through Parliament this week. Be aware this notice got to you before you pass your Act of Parliament and before the presidential elections in USA. That poses a corrupted full process of government at the worst level we have on record for the British military to investigate on our behalf as a consequence we warn you from Titi Marae and Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court that it is inevitable that charges will be laid in that court of admiralty jurisdiction to the British government our Maui Hapu chiefs legitimate private contract partners and that any action on your part to ignore our orders will have high cost consequences and action to recover debt using the King William IV flag of Admiralty Financial Martial Law Financial Mart Admiralty Financial Martial Law to order the British government military to act on our behalf, behalf to recover the debts. You need to show your land title to us on the 6th of February 2017 in Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court or your occupation lease will be removed of its titles and memorials from our land then. We made this notice on Facebook as notified public, publicly internationally our original native title, private titles. I uh, wait your reply sincerely, John Kajiwano, customary legal advocate. There, that's just the email. I'm going to read you the proclamation. I'm going to read it out in front of everybody in the world as if I'm standing in that court up there. We don't have to go into the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court to make our court hearings. We extend that court to the district courts, all the district courts in this country, New Zealand, and right through the world. We take the authority of this flag as free passage through the world, authority, to enforce those laws right through the world where the Queen has gone with your corrupted business, Monty, and your TPPA is now liable. We're holding you liable for everything that you do illegally on our lands. These are not your lands. You haven't got a clear title to these lands. You're still trying to buy it from yourself. They're iwi Maori. They're not the landowners. They're going to have to stand in that marae, the iwi Maori leaders, anybody with a title You'll have to put it in front of me with the titles I have on Facebook, all of them, and the Manukau Four Tribes title. Right? It's the first time I've ever put it online so that I can, I'm going to explain the carving that came out of the Kaipara Harbour hidden with the waka. The Orupukwe waka is hidden in there. Nobody knows where it is. I know where it is. Moe's not going to tell anybody. He's watching where it is. I'll pull it out one day, but not just now. That's his secret. Okay, and Chatham Island, so a UFO. That's another. Okay, I'm going to read you the proclamation of John Key and take note for the records. British records and the records here in New Zealand and High Commission, British High Commission here in Wellington. You'll get this. I'll send this for you, this video, as well as to the Chief, as well as to Secretary of Defence in the United States and the Secretary of Defence in Britain, Michael Fallon. Michael Fallon there, and Ashton Carter, Secretary of Defence, United States Federal State Government, military, okay? Um, Pentagon. Proclamation, this reads like this, right? I've got the pictures there, I've got the seals, you see the seals there? They all mean the highest authority in the world. The Maui Statue Memorial, standing in those countries, 
most powerful countries in the world. He's standing in Brussels, standing in London, he's standing in France, America. He's standing in all the powerful countries in the world where the mana is, right? That's the mana whenua, not the tangata whenua, the mana whenua. When you talk this way, as a native, that's the mana whenua, okay? The ruling authority is the mana whenua, not the tangata whenua is mixtures of others. When you go mana whenua, it's straight native title, para para, you won't go any further than a para para or a manaka name. That's native to the trees and the land and the water and the sky and the seas, the sea bee. okay? It's all those old names that your Pahia names and Bodhi Pahia names, like Paraoni, is brown. You know, you can't fool Maui, you can't fool Maui. He's investigating all those, don't talk on your, feet, on your feet about another name that's not true. When you talk on a Marae, you're talking from your own name, not a borrowed name or fungi adopted name. You talk from your own native name, where it came from. Ohepa, Ipiha, your real surname is Iping, the Pakeha name from New South Wales. Iping is a city in Sydney, New South Wales, and Iping is a big city in Sussex, England. Okay, that's where you come from, from your male father's side, on the Iping side. The Ipiha, you won't find it with its own waka from another island. It's not dead. So don't fool me. Don't fool around with me, Pohipa, because you'll, my nerves rattle. When they rattle, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. That's when the heart goes up and the Fitbit flies off the clock. Okay, the Fitbit over here and the heart goes boom, boom. Right, I'm going to read this proclamation, John Key. We're being, being serious here. We've got the two chiefs there. Terawaika Tokwara here is to the right, and Hongi Hika to the left, one was holding his spear. Okay, so those are the two chiefs that went to England in 1820 to 1833-34, anyway they were back here by that time, to put the title down, the native title and sell the lands as Manukau lands, okay. So Hongi Hika was responsible for conquering land, British style, okay? He had the British brain to go with the muskets and shoot everybody else while they got the cannons, right? Cannons, that was his job. He wasn't involved with the money side. That's why I'll make it quite clear. It was Te Rewaikato Wharahere that had the brain. Te Rewaikato Wharahere Here Manukau that had the brain to do the banks, the native court, and the land transaction. Okay? Now that part is what I deal with. I deal with that part and Hongi Hika's hapu deals with getting people off the land and the marshal job. Okay? I go and do that and we handle the bank. The Maui Power Note Bank. Okay? Maui Powerhouse Bank is handling the power note of King Tapio from Waikato, from Dita Waikato. Brain. Okay? Brain, money, commerce, contracts, private, admiralty. Got that, John Key? You got that? We know how to talk from our land. It's not your land. You've come from Austria. And you're raking the money out of here for your own private interests. And not the people. You're here for yourself. Right, we're going to make this proclamation now. You listen up. Proclamation. In the name of His Majesty King William IV, King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, and his living blood inheritance successors in 2016, King Ernest Augustus V, 68, heir to the throne, King of Britain, UK Hanover, Altair, New Zealand, World, New World Order. And his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, 38, heir to the throne. By Huani Kahakiwano, Sheriff Creditor. That's me, okay? I'm just identifying who I am, okay? Surrogate, King William IV, 
that means I can speak for the king and say what I want to say about the king in legal terms, contract terms, commercial trading, and banking, and land transactions, and property, and personal assets, resources, land, and certificates. Okay? All those things comes under that title. The Maui Crown Native Land Commissioner. That's who I am of the lands. Okay? Hongi, right, you got that, John Key? It's a proclamation I'm saying under this seal, crown. Whereas I assert His Majesty's King's ruler legacy in Waitangi Marae Native Court to Chief's Commander from His Majesty King William the Fourth Admiralty Jurisdiction through his principal agent of State of Colonies, James Busby, did assert on the grounds of discovery of Altea, now in the right of Upper Sovereign Chiefs, the administration of their native lands over the southern islands of New Zealand, commonly called, commonly called the Middle Island and Stewart Island, and the island commonly called the Northern Island, transferred back to the Confederation of Chiefs Hapu under proclamations of their inherent continuity of unbroken sovereignty over their native lands to their commercial trading bank private contract business partner, partner His Majesty King William the Fourth, successor King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, and his successor Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, under Salic law, forbidding woman succeeding to his British throne. Okay. Now, therefore, I, Oani Kahaki Wano, Maui Crown Native Land Commissioner of Aotea, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands, do hereby proclaim and declare to all men that from and after the date of these presents, our full sovereignty over these islands of Aotea, New Zealand, Na Atua Ewa Aotea Pacific World, New World Order, Eight Point Star Title, extending from 34 degrees 30 minutes to 47 degrees 10 minutes south latitude and between 166 degrees 5 minutes to 179 degrees of east longitude vests in Moai Crown under His Majesty King Ernest Augustus I and his son, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus, nominated as King of Britain, UK, Military Protectorate, by the Chiefs of Congress assembled forevermore given under my hand inside Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court House. Sworn the 7th, 27th day of October in the year of our Atua Lord, God, 2016 at Waitangi Marae, Maui King William IV Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World, New World Order, St. Patrick's Order, Eight Point Star Flag, Jurisdiction, 2016. Signed by His Excellencies, Excellency, Surrogate King, Maui Crown Secretary of State, Jamie Anna Marie Patrick, St. Patrick's Order. She's a Patrick, so that's all we need, one live body. We have live bodies here, and live bodies in England. Live kings there, and prince, and live natives here. 
and Live Secretary, Live Chief, Kiki Taurua, and Jim Wikotu, and Live Native Land Commissioner with the right surnames. Sir, we have the right surnames that fits the historic inheritance native titles to this country. Okay? No confusion with Maori, Iwi, on your side. You're talking to yourself in the mirror on that side. We're talking kings and our own native name straight to England with names on the other end. Okay? We got a king, a legitimate monarch, sovereign king, Philip Augustus, and his son, a prince regent, in waiting. And we've got Matt Taylor, our military police, ex-military police, British police, as leader of the Maui King William Party, political party, ready to go there. He's got the flag there. And he is the secretary of the Maui Powerhouse House Group Limited, Limited Company, registered in the company's house, London, England. Okay? So we have live people there and live people here with all our documents in order with a flag of Admiralty jurisdiction highest in the world of commerce. King of the Sea, King of Commerce, King of the Re Kings, Royal Revenue, King's Bench Court. Okay? So now, on the last bit. Signed by me, her and Kingy in electronic. Just one phone call and I say it's okay. Okay, Native Chief Commander, King, Kingi, Taurua, Native Chief Commander, so he's a Chief Commander, not a Commander-in-Chief or a commander Miss chief on John Key, your side. He's a Chief Commander, that means he's the Commander, okay? Kingi Taurua, New Zealand Military, ex-military, Army, Waitangi Marae, Landlord, Queen Victoria Trust Beneficiary. Okay, he is the beneficiary of that trust in the Edward King Edward line with Queen Victoria. He deals on the Titi Marae side of your side, John Key. He's got a bone to pick with you. He can do his business in that court and on the other court. Queen's Bench Court on this side and Titi Marae, King's Bench Court on the other side and Waitangi Marae. So he can be in both places at the same time, okay? I'm just making that point quite clear for people watching around the world, people watching in the United States and Britain, to what I'm saying here is going to save you from the racket hearing that's going on with the Queen giving the Pope the Admiralty of King William IV and giving Obama the use of the flag of King William IV to racketeer and put a state of emergency around the emergency and cause war. It's a war flag. It's a war flag. It's a hanging flag. It's a flag between here and Britain to stop people pirating our trade. Okay? And stealing. Okay? That's what it is. Right. To finish off this proclamation, it says, the Waitangi Marae, printed by Maui Crown, King William Fourth Trust. Okay, we've got a trust set up for that. Private trust. And Maui King William Fourth Party, New Zealand Pacific, property rights to His Majesty King William IV, 1830 to 1837 Acts of Westminster Parliament, enforced law on the 15th of 4th, 2016. You'll see the photo there of us standing in front of the Marae and the videos of us inside the Marae enforcing all the acts that we had on February the 6th in Waitangi Marae that I've got up and presented it in front of the Tomata and then put them straight in there and declared the whole lot, broke down the whole lot, force law. It is admiralty, it's force law, not in force law, it's force law. Force law, okay? Get you and ask questions after. Shoot you and ask questions after. So now we have um, legal, private contract with Maui Native Chiefs of Aotea New Zealand and Pacific Islands Native Land Titles Absolute to Maui Crown New Zealand Pacific World 
between William IV, Federal, State, UK, New Zealand, dual governments. Set up in Kororareka to London, British, Navy, Devon, Port, UK, Government. Private contract partnership business with King Chief Hongi Ika and Chief Waikato sold Kororareka land 23rd. 1834, Captain George Lambert, H.M. Alligator, 21 gun salute at Mikey Hill, 10th of 4th, 1834, flag star. There, that's the proclamation, John Key. You got that? And all the people watching this video, and the chiefs, and the public of New Zealand, and around the world. I've just made a proclamation that this land belongs to the chiefs, natives, in your indigenous countries. All those ones at Dakota that I've been downloading on my site, this is coming to you. When we get this flag up and sort this out, we sort your land out straight off. It doesn't take much to put one of these hats on your head under this flag, because this flag is a free passage through the world. It can go anywhere. And so we put it there inside the district court, the first district court. Now I see that Sheriff Clark has been made the top top honours in the police in Milwaukee, okay, in, in uh, California. He's been made the highest order of police as a sheriff. So there, that just shows you that black man is pretty good. He's onto it. The sheriff is the king's man, you see. Must be watching our videos. Good on him. So there you go. That's, that's for you, John Key. I'll just run through a little bit more of those 15 documents that I'm sending you. I'll start from the top and quickly go through them. I won't say too much about it, but I've said enough. The rest is for you to read and to reply to me, because I'm reporting back to the chiefs all the time. I'm going up to Hokiana to have a hui up there uh, on the 18th, and so I'll be making presentations of this, explain myself, but I'm making videos I found it's quicker to make videos and explain everything so they'll know by the time I get there there won't be a much questions to answer, they'll have all the answers. Okay? The thing is just to be there physically, talk face to face, and then I go down to uh, Tuhoi, and I've got here, I've got here, and uh, I've got time, and I've got I'll speak over there again with um, um, uh, Manahi uh, Tangaidi, uh, uh, the uh, authorised native court judge. He's a real, I've known him for years in the courts. Okay, he knows his courts. Does his job. Does his job. Do this court hearing and I'll be the sheriff, the creditor, with the pound note to write on the debts. Okay, if I write your name on the pound note, that's it. You lose everything. But it's got a trillion pounds on each one's head. All the police here, 13,000, I think 15,000 police, you've got a trillion on your head against the Queen's and the Pope's church's assets, Rothschild's assets, the whole works. They get the balance and you lose what you've got. Okay, that's your problem. Because your police ignored the documents that I've got with the seals on. They ignored me. There's a consequence for that. And the landowners of Cook Street, you're going under. And all those people in there, you're going under. You're getting the debt bill on top of you after John Key gets his. He's going to lose everything because the sheriffs will go after him. Okay? From Britain. The British Navy is not here. You wonder why. These crooks, thugs here from Australia, convicts, are operating this country without the British ship being here. Because if that British Navy ship was here, we'd just tell them to arrest them. That's why they're, they're sidestepping and going around the back way through the crooked Hillary and Obama with their crooked voting and crooked FBI and crooked everything crooked is spilling out in front of the whole world okay so here on the first page it says here John Key dear John Key you are forbidden from forcing US financial martial law TPPA on New Zealand land there that's it and so you've got all the rest of what I'm saying, I won't say it through because it's saying much the same thing, only in depth. And then we go to skip to page three. On page three, you'll see us 
this is the, the group that went into Waitangi Marae at 5 o'clock um, with uh, Murray Rapana, the cultural manager from the Waitangi National Trust, was good enough to let us go in the Marae to use it for this reason, is to claim the title to the land through the Navy. They're running their business in there. We have the flag there in front of the Marae. We've taken photos of it and video. And um, you've got Kingi Toto there, chief. Okay, he's the oldest on his feet. It's the one that's got the mana, no matter what anybody says. He's live, breathing air, and he can speak, talk to me, and answer. Okay, so that's him. Willie Pato on the right-hand side. I trust that man. And uh, Hohepa Epiha at the back. Uh, there, besides Elf Mitchell, uh, and um, um, I won't say the other, so it was just Jamie there, so she's my secretary, uh, just to the right of me, and Georgie Job, and Desmond Wano in the back with the flag. Okay, so that's the flag we put there, and I put the carving, you see the carving above my head there? That is the four tribes, the four major tribes of this country. That is the overruling title, the native title is right there. Okay, that's the parliament, it's Tangaro, the sea at the bottom, and it's got the Fano Hapu in it, and the four pillars, and joined together with, with the crossbars between the four tribes. I'll just name Altea as one, and Arawa as another, Napui as the other, and the other one, Waikara. Um, um, so so that's, that's these main tribes within the eight tribes of Ngāpui and this was put together in Kāwharu, uh, Waikato chief time. That, that, that was buried in the Kaipara Harbour and a Pākehā man found it, uh, a young fellow, and he got scared because it was growing growing um, hairs all over it and it, it, it was spooky and he was frightened of it. So, um, he gave it to Mohi Manukau, and Mohi's holding the kids are holding it. But that's that's a, that's a story inside itself that goes with. You can see it goes with that marae with carving, same colour. But it is the parliament. That is the parliament there, right there. And I'll explain it now over here. That's our title to that marae, and all the rest of those carving is a proper native court, right? And um, straight to Britain, that authority, and the ship outside, the flag star, that pole there, standing in the paddock, is the ship mast and the crossbar with our flag, this one, flying opposite the British flag as the partner. See, it tells you something. And then the other Union Jack at the top is a flag off the ship 200 miles out. Okay? And so we're putting that flag on the crossbar and putting this one at the top then it will take this country right around the world, including Britain, right around the world, with the new Brexit Britain. At the moment, it's looking like this. It's Wales and England and us here in contract with those two, two countries. Ireland wants to come home. It wants to come back. Scotland still wants to go. Some of Scotland wants to come back. The other ones with Nicola Sturgeon wants to go with the thugs into EU Parliament and NATO and shoot everybody up, right? A gun happy people. Okay, so that's that's explains that uh, to you people. You know, the chief watching, I'll, I'll say that in the Marae, what it means, and because Mohi left all that history with me, it took a long time to go right over it and fit the Kapuru King Tafio story inside that with Te Rawaikato Parahirehere, Manukau, and that title's in England, okay? That title's in England, it was put together by Te Rawaikato Parahirehere. He taught, uh, he learned English and was proficient enough to understand what that is. And Mohi Manukau was 50 years in the Vatican, uh, in the Freemasons, that part of it, and I've got all these things here. I've got all these things he gave to me to look after, and it's a big headache for me to hold all of that. Now I'll go down, and we see the flag there on Kororareka, on the next page, on page four. You see um, um, Jim Wikotu, you see his name is unique to the land, 
of Matatua, the Wakas. So he's talking about the Navy non-performance. Non-performance. They didn't come up to Kororareka on the 10th, 10th of April 2016. Failed to show. They failed to show on the 28th in Titi Marae and Waitangi Marae we were waiting there and the gate didn't open. Murray let us down. And that's one point against him and the Mara and the National Trust. They know now this this is coming out. This is coming out. This, the truth is coming out. Who's who? Who is who? Right? There won't be any war flowers around anymore by the time this is finished. Not with a Moai around. It's own up. Uh, page six, uh, we're going along there and Jim is explaining um, the flag. Because it's real, you can't you can't change history when it's been given by a king. This is the only king's commercial trading bank flag of free passage through the world in the world, in the world of that much inside. Okay, it's a British military protectorate flag as well, right? And it protects our business all the way through the world. So now I'm going to England to work that in with Matt Taylor and a few others in Westminster to straighten that place out and go to America and straighten that place out too. It won't take much to do all that. Now we get down to the ship, the um, um, Pacific Princess, Monarch something, what now? Uh, Pacific, the Mora ship with our flag on it. Okay, so that just shows you it's flying on, on a ship. We'll, we'll have a ship with it on it and aircraft with it on it. And then the carving there again, um, besides Waitangi um, ship in the paddock there where I've got the holding the flag, this flag, and then Kororareka, the flag up the top of the mast there. Okay, and then we come down to page 9, is Devon Port in Plymouth, England, and Devon Port here in Auckland under the Moai Crown and Manukau Land Title Company in Glasgow, Scotland. And when the Parliament shifted from Kororareka, Russell, after Honeheke cut the flag down, they blew the place up, blew the parliament up, they blew everything out and brought the parliament down to Auckland and set up here and they went on this Devon Port title after that. Okay? I won't go on any more about anything else other than just the pictures here. And then you've got Queen Elizabeth II Navy ship. It will be in the water. Well, it's in the water now, but it'll, it'll be commissioned to go out to work in January next year, 2017, or thereabouts. It's not quite ready. And then um, um, to the right we have King William and his crown and anchor. See that crown and anchor? That's the Admiralty that we're using in this day. Is that authority higher than any other commercial operating business in the world? Is that one? Okay. And he's eight point star. And Prince uh, King Ernest Augustus V with eight point star on his crown. He's wearing it because he is the king of Britain, UK, inherent at the moment, presently, right now. He can walk straight into Westminster when we nominated him in. When I go to the Hui up in the 18th of this month, up to Hokianga, we'll make headway to, I'll, I'll be sending letters before that to him in Britain to nominate him and send it to the uh, government, um, Theresa May, to nominate him on the throne. Okay, I'm going to do that straight away next next week, or this week, this week. Okay, so then we go to the Navy at the bottom of the page. There, Titi Marae on the 6th of February, 2016. That's when the flag went upside down with Jim on treaty grounds, early in the morning, 5, five o'clock. And then we have the British, uh, uh, the US ship, USS Samson, Admiral Tim Labenz. The ship coming to Auckland 
but no ship from Britain. That that rings alarm bells. That rings alarm bells for everybody. What I'm saying here, okay? And then you've got the Queen Elizabeth ship there. Then we've got um, that, and we have signed uh, on on this um, notice to John Key. You see the carving there. That's the Parliament. That is a native Parliament, and I'm taking it as being inside the Marae, the Waitangi uh, Marae King's Bench Court. Is the Parliament there? The upper house there. With, that's the upper house. Okay. That is the upper house. Memorial. That is the memorial. Okay. The Manukau um, and Kafaru. Yeah, the Kafaru, the chiefs around that time, Te Rewaika to Whareheri, put that together. They had the brains from Waikato to do, to do that. The combat people was Ngāpui and Hongi Hika. Hongi Hika. Okay, so then down the page um, is self-explanatory. Until we get to the last uh, pages, page 11, is the uh, Dakota uh, native people. You see they're flying their flag upside down, Jim. You see, they're following suit of what you did. I wouldn't be surprised they're watching what's happening here. And the Navy knows to, anyway, the ex-Navy guy knows to fly it upside down in signs of peace. They're not there to, to cause war, but that there's a problem. And, um, um, and they're in distress. They're screaming out for help. And this flag must go there to help them. Okay, right now, right now, they need this flag to help them. Uh, we have our contacts there, uh, Daryl Payne and uh, Rennie Powers, um, diligently working away there, but he's on a different sort of path um, to what I do. And I'm hoping that you can pick up Daryl and what I'm saying about a king. Everything I talk about is just straight king and chief. Right, the, the, the chief and the king. Right, they've got a queen over there. You've got a queen over there. The queen, where the queen and the, and the queen goes, is corrupted. <coughs> it's really corrupted. So that's all that in the next page is talking about there and what they're going through. And then we come to the last page. You've got the contacts there with the um, uh, threads, um, the um, site where you can go to see the full articles for there. And then we got the Clendon family uh, that we're basing our title for the first legitimate legal British reserve here as a magistrate and as a uh, consulate of America. Captain um, George uh, George Captain George Lambert. He captained the uh, Alligator, HMS His Majesty's ship Alligator, that blew off the 21 gun salute for this flag when they landed on the beach. This flag was flying as the New Zealand flag from that day, 20th of March 1834, right up to 1840, 6th of February 1840. This country was run on this day. Okay, that's all I want to say. So that's all I want to say for this, uh, John Key. Take notice of what I'm saying because everybody's watching these videos. Okay, so um, uh, don't need to add to that because um, uh, the video might be too long. So uh, take care. We'll see you later. And I'm watching the elections now uh, to see how well Don Donald Trump has got oodles of people down the road uh, coming to his rallies because he's got a, a certain amount of truth but he's still mixed up with the fraud in there. There's a certain amount of fraud going on in his business in tax evasion and, and the way that they're, they're um, taking advantage of the taxpayers, the, the ordinary public, for their own um, business private interests. Okay, so you have to be uh, coy and smart to work that system. We're going to throw it out. 
with this system will throw all that out and the UCC laws and their Vice Admiralty Queen Elizabeth laws are corrupted, fraud and the worst things you'll ever get when you look at Hillary Clinton's mouth talking. She should be hung with this flag. You people watching, this is a hangman's flag of a state of emergency. When you put this flag up in a state of emergency, it means they've cordoned off the whole area and you've got no say. They just take the whole lot out and any laws in that area is overrun by the king. Okay? So to Sheriff Clark, uh, good on him for taking on everything in his past. And for a black man, that's not bad. Okay? So um, I'm hoping that Trump will win cleanly only for the sake of having a president that we can deal with in this business with this flag there. Okay? It will rule further than what his flag can do because they've been burning that flag to put up the ISIS flag and Islam flag and immigrants that Hillary Clinton and the Queen wants to take the whole place out with Soros. They need to be hung with this flag. All those names I put in there, you'll see their pictures there. I put them there. They're on the page. Um, on one of the pages, um, I put them there. I'll just better go back to that because I skipped over it. Um, well, this is out somewhere. Um, I just want to check one more thing because I did put them in somewhere. I've got now. Oh, there they are. It's on page two. You'll see there, please take notice, levy debtor pirates. Okay, anybody that's operating, this, this is a pirate flag. It's a declaration of war flag. Okay, I'll put that document in there too as well sometime um, to go along with it. The declaration of war flag. This is it. And so we've got Hillary Clinton, we've got the Queen with treason wanted and John Key and all the rest of them inside. All those documents I've got on my websites, 68 websites on Facebook, and um, 920 YouTube videos, and some Daily Motion ones are there too. Uh, and then we've got Obama, uh, world's number one terrorist. He's filling that role pretty well, and he's going he's gonna to run away if Donald Trump gets him, because he knows he's going to get hung if Donald Trump gets him. And I'm trying to get this flag over there to enforce over the top of everything there with them. But that has to come from Britain first. John Key is next on the photo, and then you've got Obama and George Soros laughing away there. And he's pouring money, all the stolen money, and, and into it. And James Comey, he should be hung. All these people are going to be hung. Don't want to put it. James Comey, um, FBI covering up for the dirty, dirty tricks in the government. All, everybody in the government's gone. But they told me, if, if, if they catch them now, the whole of them will go. And even with the flag will kill them right off. And then you've got Jerry Matapurai, Andrews. He's an ambassador for New Zealand in London. He's got to go too. He's got to go too because he's, he's wearing the white eight point star is not his. He's, 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 he's not an Irish, he's a Scottish. He's, he's surname. It's not, it's in the wrong place. And so he's covering, he's gone into the hole that the Queen left when she went to the EU Parliament in Brussels. So she's gone there, he's gone and jumped in the hole to keep keep the, the, the racket going from Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, with those Maoris there, to hit that Maori, his Maori, Iwi, to keep their racket going. Right? We're going to stop the racket and put a plug in. Okay? That's what these documents are for. We put the end to all that racket so that we can thrust them out and empty the swamp, like Trump said, empty the swamp. Now we've got Trump there and the Pope. The Pope supports Trump. Okay, so but I'm saying the Pope is the fraud person that I'm saying that we're going to build. We're not going to build Trump because the odds are he's trying to be nice, which he is, and his family's nice, but they're still in the racket. They're still caught up in all the Queen's racket. 
anything that you touch that the Queen's in, on the document, is a racket. It's corrupted, fraud, and we're going to investigate it all. Okay? I'm a private investigator of the native land titles in America. All the native land titles in the world comes under this flag because they used our native title here as a blueprint for the rest of the world. Okay, you know, Australia caught them out with the 1993 Tutula Fenua Native Land Act. They put that, that over there. They got 93 Land Act, but they won't say where they got it from. You see, and I said, where, where did that come from? There's only one 93 Land Act in the world, and that's it. They've stolen it, people. And then they flipped it off to Canada and America from Canberra, Commonwealth of, Commonwealth of Australia, government. See, you got a federal state government in Australia, Commonwealth government of Australia, and then you got a state government of Australia. Three governments running racket. Three governments running racket in the United States. Three governments running racket in Canada over these indigenous, indigenous natives' lands and ours at the same time. They couldn't do that here. John Key couldn't do it there because his flag is stopping him from trying to do what they did in Tuhoi put the martial law there and put a state emergency with a flag, uh, with a cordon around and they tried to enforce that martial law without the authority they just made it up like how um, uh, detective uh, Natalie Flower D. Brown arrested me with fraud documents that she fashioned up herself same thing so we're going to have her up she's going to there's a trillion pound note on her head, trillion pound note on everyone's head, 40 of them, in Cook Street, coming after you, coming after you, and they're sitting on a fence waiting for the time, because I'm busy now with these things, the political issues, land issues, commercial issues, bank issues, project issues with the turbines, the turbines are going to kick in, you people, the turbine, the Moai turbine is going to kick into the sea, when this flag goes up, it goes right through the well. Those turbines will have a free passage through the well, to make hydrogen for the new British Lab Cat A2 hydrogen powered plane. Okay? That's how it works. So there's the criminal there on page two. Please take notice, Levy Jetta Pirates. Where the Levy Jetta, where the Levy Creditor um, ship. Okay? Now, so all we have to do is hire people that are joining in the shares in the Maui Tidal Turbine project, the Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company registered in London. It won't go, just hold on, hold on, it's on my website, but it won't be going anywhere until this flag goes up. Okay, once it's up and uh, everybody here is happy in the, in, in the, in the native uh, chiefs, then all the native chiefs around the world will follow suit with this. Okay, that's all. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Have a nice day. I didn't go to the gym today because I'm doing these documents and it takes a long time. And I missed my gym. Okay? We'll see you later. Bye.